Hey everyone, I hope all is well. Today's video is a little bit of a departure from my past videos. In those videos, I basically just mechanistically went through the steps of setting up a problem, running it, and extracting the solution data. Today's video is going to have a bit more creative flair, and it is going to focus on slightly different aspects of CFD. I'm getting comfortable enough with OpenFoam that I am looking to branch out into slightly more interesting problems. I also feel comfortable that if any of you need more specific guidance, you will be able to find it in my past videos or in the instructions I added to the linked files. As always, all the files needed to reproduce my results will be linked below. I will also link videos which I think are relevant. For instance, there is a channel that I'm sure you are all familiar with called Fluid Mechanics 101. On this channel, Dr. Wimshurst makes the best videos I've seen pertaining to CFD theory. In today's video, I will be demonstrating PISO, LES, and simple RANS calculations. Instead of doing an in-depth explanation, I'm just going to link to his videos on the topics. He does a much better job than I ever could. I'm self-taught and do not hold a PhD or even a master's degree. I just recommend that anyone interested watch his videos for more technical details. Before we begin, I am just going to add a short reminder to like, subscribe, and share my content. If you think that what I'm doing here would be valuable to others, this is the best way to give the channel exposure. I would also like to remind people to use the thumbs down button and leave critical comments if you think that what I'm doing here is wrongheaded in some way. All the thumbs up and appreciative comments are great, please keep them coming, but the thumbs down also serve as useful sources of information. I just want to make this channel as helpful and interesting as possible, and for that, I need feedback as to what does and does not work. Okay, great. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. We begin by specifying the goals of the project. What is it exactly that we want to achieve? The two main goals are to calculate the drag and to create a visualization to examine the behavior of the flow. To calculate the drag, we will be performing a steady state analysis. This analysis will use the simple pressure velocity coupling algorithm along with a RANS turbulence model to get the time averaged behavior of the flow. To generate the flow visualization, a transient LES simulation will be performed using the PISO algorithm for pressure velocity coupling. I find that this method produces the best results for seeing the turbulent behavior in the wake. As mentioned before, we will be performing two analysis. Before we can begin, however, we must create the geometries using SOLIDWORKS. I will then create the mesh using block mesh and snappy hex mesh to inbuilt functions in OpenFoam. We then calculated and specified the boundary conditions and ran the simulation. Finally, we post-processed the results in ParaView. To create the geometry, I found images online for each vehicle, imported these images into SOLIDWORKS, and created the model from these images. I then exported the geometry as an STL, ensuring the scaling was set to 1 meter and the triangulation was set to fine. I tried running snappy hex mesh a few times on the STL files, but had trouble getting OpenFoam to read these files. Because of this, I converted the STL to OBJ files using an online converter linked below and proceeded from there. Here's the geometry I created for the Cybertruck. The F-150, and finally the brick. As you can see, they have all been normalized to have approximately the same cross-sectional area. Once the geometries were all done, I began creating the mesh. The mesh creation consists of two steps. The first step was to create a basic cuboidal domain mesh. This was simply done by specifying the location of the vertices and the number of divisions in each direction. A block mesh was then created from these specifications. Next, we use the inbuilt tool, Snappy Hex Mesh. This tool basically carves out the object geometry from the block mesh, refines it, and then adds inflation layers. I was unable to add the inflation layers myself, but this step should be done if you want to have more physically realistic results. Again, I will add a link to a more in-depth video on the topic below the video. As you can see, I use very similar parameters for all the geometries to eliminate any effects from different levels of mesh refinement. The simulation will have four different types of boundary conditions, a velocity inlet, pressure outlet, slip walls, and a no-slip obstacle. The inlet velocity was calculated using an RE equivalent to the full-scale model at 50 miles per hour. The calculated inlet velocity was 132 meters per second. To calculate the inlet turbulence properties, an online calculator was used. The website will be linked below. Once again, all the files needed to run the simulation will be linked below. To run the simulation in parallel, once the boundaries and mesh are set up, use the following commands. If you prefer to run the simulation on one core, you can simply type in the solver name into the command line. To save the simulation, use the following command. You can either reconstruct all time steps for, for the transient case, or just the last one for the steady state case. If you ran the case on one core, you just need to create the results foam file. To calculate the drag, load the results from the steady state analysis 
you only need to load the body, the Cybertruck in this case I am showing now. You then use the Extract Block feature, followed by the Extract Surface feature. Now that you have the surfaces, you can generate the normals and calculate the drag on each surface using the following equation. A few notes on this equation are that we multiply by density, because the P variable in OpenFoam is actually the pressure divided by the density. You could also calculate the lift using the same equation but norm Y instead of norm Z. Then to calculate the total drag, we just sum the pressure forces over the entire body using the integrate variables feature in Paraview. Okay, now that the simulation procedures have been outlined, I'm going to share the results I achieved. This chart shows the calculated drag forces from the RAND simulation. You can see that the Cybertruck is the most aerodynamic and the F-150 is the least, even less than the brick. The likely reason for this, other than that my calculation could be more refined, has to do with the behavior of the wake. As the flow separates off the roof of the F-150, it creates a region with many eddies, then another one after the tailgate. I think that this double eddy effect is what makes it less aerodynamic than the brick. Now I'm going to show you the animations from the large eddy simulations. You can see that the flow appears bloggy. This is due to the level of mesh refinement. The following animations of K0 really make the behavior of the flow in the wake clear. You can see the double eddy effect mentioned earlier. You can also see that the sloping covered tailgate of the Cybertruck greatly reduces the drag and cleans up the flow in the wake. And you can see that the brick is about as good as, well, a brick. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a short list of potential shortcomings and areas that could be improved. The first major thing is that the wheels should be modeled as rotating. I am still learning many aspects of open foam and did not get around to doing this. I will certainly have a video covering this topic shortly. The second thing that could be improved is the domain size and mesh resolution. This was constrained by hardware and time I had available. Each simulation ran overnight, so it took me around 6 days to obtain the results presented. If I were in an academic or commercial setting, with access to a server, and a need for more accurate results, I would run a much larger simulation. Even with these blemishes, I hope that you found this video entertaining and helpful. If you like the style of this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment. Thanks for watching and have a good one.